I welcome you to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. What's up, you guys? Welcome to today's video. Oh, let me turn off the pantry light. What's up? Coming at y'all from Austin, from my parents' house. Um, I'll be honest with y'all. I was just crying um, <laughs> because Eva fell asleep in my arms and she never does that anymore, ever. And so um, I was sitting on the bed with her and she fell asleep in my arms and I picked her up to transfer her to her crib and she was sleeping on my shoulder like this. I'm gonna get teary-eyed just talking about it. But um, she was sleeping on my shoulder and I was just standing there and I was just crying because she never falls asleep like that anymore. And she's teeny tiny, like since she was teeny tiny. And um, it just makes me think back to those days and how fast she's growing. So anyway, um, you can probably hear the baby monitor. It's right here because she's asleep in the other room. We are still in Austin. Uh, Matt's actually gone. He left this morning at 6 a.m. to go to New Orleans. So he, I think we mentioned this on the channel. Maybe not. I don't know. There's been a lot going on. But he had to go to work. Um, he had to go to New Orleans for work. There's a uh, convention there with his, um, his line of work, CBD and all of that stuff that they, his company's going to and he's the only one in the company that could go. So he drove think he's probably about halfway there by now and he's going to be there until Thursday. So um, we had planned on being here at my parents anyway because of how the last month has gone we just decided to stay <laughs> because we were snowed in the week prior and so we're still here. Um, I'm actually about to drink my pre-workout. I'm going to go work out. Um, I've been working out in their little office. I've got some bands. I brought, we brought my weights and kettlebell from home. And um, so I've been doing workouts here because obviously I'm not going to the gym since it's an hour and a half away. And so I'm about to go get my workout in, but I wanted to just kind of hop on and, and say what's up to you guys and chat. I don't know. I've been, I've just felt kind of lost with videos lately. Um, and I think, I mean, I know it's because we haven't had any type of structure in our lives. And I mean, that's, it's just what it is. This is our time. This is that time in our life. This is our struggle right now. We are just waiting for the house to be done. And one thing after another keeps coming up. And I knew this was going to happen, but it's, you, you know it's gonna happen, but you still hope for the best. And so obviously we were hoping to be in the house well before now, but it just seems that one thing after another keeps coming up. Pablo got sick and then uh, this ice storm happened. Now he's catching up with his other jobs because he does work closely with my dad, um, where my dad works in Austin. He does landscaping work for that company. So he's having to catch up on a bunch of stuff there because there was some damage from the ice storm. And so it's just, it's been like one thing after another and we just have not gone home because we have fully outgrown the RV and Eva especially needs room to run. It, the weather's been, it's cold and kind of wet again today. So the weather hasn't been great for going outside. So going outside often is not much of an option for us and just being in the RV cooped up, us both trying to work from home and be active. And it's just, it's frustrating. It's been real frustrating and I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's gotten me down a bit in the last couple weeks because again, I really, really wanted the house to be done. And so I've, I've been wanting to improve the content for you guys on the channel, but I just feel completely lost on what to do because we're not in our own home. We are with other people 24 seven now. We're not living on our own. So it's, it's just been weird. And I just wanted to just get my thoughts out. Y'all know that on this channel, I've, I've always kind of used it as an outlet to just talk about my struggles and experiences and encourage you guys while I'm doing, you know, while I'm going through my own stuff. And so it's just been, it's been frustrating and I've got so many ideas for the channel, but a lot of them 
hinder on the house. I mean, they're dependent on the house because I want space to be more creative. We're gonna have probably the extra bedroom is gonna be a bit of a, like a studio office space, YouTube room where we can film things. I'm gonna do more sit down and talk videos. We're gonna talk about our life and experiences and things that we've learned over the years. And then Matt wants to do kind of cooking videos and, and I wanna do more fitness stuff, but it's I've just felt mentally blocked because we don't have our own space. I mean, we do, but the RV is not near enough space for what we wanna do. And just creatively, I'm sure any of you guys that, that write or create content or do, you know, um, or more on the artistic side of things, you understand like there are blocks that sometimes you just cannot break through due to certain circumstances. And I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm at one of those right now and it is like I'm having so much trouble breaking through and I know that it depends on the house. And I don't wanna be one of those people that says, you know, when we get the house, we'll be able to do this, this, and this because I'm doing my best. I'm trying my best right now, but it's just not what I want it to be. And you know, I've been trying to get videos out just to stay consistent because documenting my life and our lives on YouTube, I love having these videos to look back at. And like the ice storm, I want to be able to go back and watch those videos, but sorry, my nose is still a little stuffy from crying, but the, the type of content is just not what I want it to be, not where I want it to be because I'm literally just filming on my phone as I think of it. So the routine, everything, I feel like whenever we finally get in the house, we're gonna be able to breathe. I know that I keep complaining about this, but again, this is my struggle. This is just something we are dealing with right now and it's frustrating as heck. And I'm, st I'm still hoping for the best. Um, we have talked to Pablo recently and basically let him know, look, we have to get this done soon. Like it's not, we just have to get it done. Um, especially because that, you know, the faucet in the RV is broken. It's not a big issue, but it's like, it's just one more thing. We're like, we just want something new, a new space, more space. And so, yeah, we just told him we have to get this done. And so Matt's usually his point of contact. Uh, my dad talks to him more often than either of us do because he works with him usually throughout the week, uh, several days a week. Um, so he's gonna be talking to him this week too. And um, hopefully more will be done. I've got a couple little snippets of, of updates, but there's, I mean, I'm, I'll put them in at the end of this video. There's there's not a lot. And again, that I think that's another thing that kind of discouraged me because I wanted to come back after the ice storm and go back home to an almost finished house where we could start moving things in, but that's not the case. So. I'm staying positive, y'all don't worry. Um, I'm just going through a moment right now where I'm frustrated and I wanted to voice that because I think that we need to make sure, you know, staying positive is super important and I try to do that as much as possible, but it's also important to acknowledge the feelings of frustration and disappointment and that's what's happening right now. So I know it's not a super positive update, but I just wanted to be honest with you guys. Um, but what I wanted to hear from y'all below, please, 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 um, one, engagement on these videos helps the algorithm. Apparently YouTube right now is very, very heavily dependent on um, likes and comments and shares on videos because otherwise it doesn't push it into the algorithm for current subscribers. So a lot of people probably aren't seeing our videos because comments and likes are much, much lower as I'm sure y'all have noticed. So if you guys can take a second and just make sure and like this video and leave us a comment below. I wanna know what y'all want to see in videos. Um, videos right now, literally before we get in the house and then videos in the house. I know, I'm, of course I'm gonna be doing moving vlogs, decorating vlogs, all of that stuff. Whenever we get in the house, we got plenty of content coming whenever we can finally get in the stinking house. But I wanna see what y'all want to watch in the meantime, um, between now and then, um, while we're homeless. <laughs> um, technically, you know, we've got an RE, but technically we are homeless. Um, so I wanna see what y'all would want to watch. So please, please, please comment below. Um, and I will very, very closely read those comments. I try to respond to every single one of them. Hopefully I can get some, some fun videos for you guys in the meantime. I'm, I think really just because of that block, I, 
I just can't even process what you guys would want to see. Um, so looking forward to y'all's comments and your help. Like I said, I'll include the footage of the house updates uh, after this. I think they were filmed, a couple of them were right before the freeze and then some of them were right after the freeze. So, okay. Brighter days ahead, I promise. <laughs> then this is me talking to me and then you guys as well. Um, but thank you for tuning in. Thanks for listening to my venting session and I hope you'll have a great day. Have fun out there. This is new, obviously. Wow, this is nice. Dang. Yeah, that looks good. to uh, move the spot that the paint was gonna be in. Okay, okay. There's our bed. Our mattress. Let's see what else we've got. Mm, nothing besides that looks a little different. Let's see, let's see what else. Bit of a mess in here. A uh, fan in Eva's room. Okay. All right. All right. What else? What else? Oh, we got a fan in here. Excellent. Um. Oh, this is all done. Yeah, that's all done. That looks good. Vanity lights. Obviously, we have not been here in two weeks now, so I'm just kind of taking account of what has been done. Um, it's not done yet, as you can see. Uh, we've got vanity lights in here too. The bathroom, the tile is done in that tub. That's it. Still missing. All right, so the there's fans in Eva's room, our room, vanity lights in the bathrooms. That's it. Still missing these windows. Um, tile there too. But they finished grouting this. Yeah, that looks really good, and you can see it better in the other shower. Looks really good. Cabinets, counters. I think the window is here, though. Yeah, the windows are here. This is for the bathroom. Is, do we have the kitchen one? Doesn't look like it. <sighs> That's the bathroom. This one's not. It's obviously. It's a little bit of a bummer that more has not been done. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, we're gonna be gone for, what is today? Today is Wednesday. We're gonna be gone until next Sunday, probably. Assess what's been done up to that point, although it's gonna be f literally freezing this week. It's supposed to be like in the teens this weekend. So part of me thinks that they're probably not gonna be out if it's that cold, even though be working inside. I was hoping more would be done. Good progress. There's things done. Yeah, still, still missing one ceiling fan. Uh, well, oh, technically two. I was hoping. Okay. It is what it is. I'm not going to get bummed about it because there has still been progress happening. So that's good. Things are still happening. Um, I'm just so ready. Just so ready but we are um back home we're picking up a couple things because as i said we've been gone for two weeks um so we're picking up some stuff from home warm clothes for eva because i didn't bring any warm clothes because i didn't think that it was going to freeze so we're picking that up i'm gonna go next door and see brady
Brady! Brady! Come here! Brady! What are you doing? Brady, come here! Come here! What did you do? Hi! What did you do, Brady? Hi, Brady! Hi, Brady! Hi, there's that smile! Take that smile. Hi. Hi, buddy. Baby. Thick boy. Thick boy. So I wanted to show you guys, I have my own fitness merch. Um, I have a Facebook group and also just many, many clients of mine. I wanted to create something that is a reminder of essentially finding your own strength. This phrase, face it till you make it, is the name of my Facebook group. It's also a phrase that I kind of embody or I tried to embody in my own fitness journey the phrase face it or fake it till you make it I feel like doesn't ring true because when you're working hard consistently day after day after day even if you feel like progress isn't happening you're still facing it there's no faking happening you are facing it until you make it and so that kind of like birthed the idea of my fitness Facebook group and so anyway created my own merch that's pretty cool because I originally wanted the design to have Wonder Woman on it. So I was messaging somebody on Fiverr about doing some type of Wonder Woman inspired character on a shirt. And I was like, wait a minute, I am Wonder Woman. <laughs> you know, like I am my own version of Wonder Woman and I have this proof. Um, so I sent him the picture of me dressed as Wonder Woman a couple years ago. Use this, face it till you make it. So it's pretty cool. But if you guys want to check it out, you can check out the link below. I got a sticker. This is my favorite. Eva has a shirt. How sweet is that? Oh my gosh. She's a yellow Wonder Woman. That's so cute. So you guys can check out the link. Um, obviously our Teespring, every bit, um, every purchase supports us directly as YouTube channel, but as a family, all of that stuff. So if you guys get anything, make sure to let me know and tag me when you wear it because that's really awesome. Okay, so back in the house, um, obviously still have that for the door whenever that was placed in there. Still don't have doorknobs, uh, no cabinets. We do have a fan though, so that's a big fan. I mean, seriously, look at that thing. It's like a little helicopter. Oh, that's pretty neat. It's like the blades, I don't even know. They're three feet long, maybe more. I'm, I'm bad with math, which is actually not true. Uh, yeah, and it's like, it's hanging pretty low, but I guess it's like a normal ceiling height. So obviously the couch is gonna go right underneath it. That's a bed. And uh, I don't know, not to give away the size, but it's made for a king, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was really that. So I'm a dad, I'm allowed dad jokes, right? Carpets. I mean, we have everything for the house pretty much. Like, we're ready to go. Uh, we actually have all the stuff for the kitchen for the most part. Um, again, just no, you know, places to cook. No appliances, nothing. But what we do have is the uh, what's that? molding, the baseboards, whatever you want to call that. That goes through the entire house. So that's done. Uh, pretty much we just need, oh, one more thing. Check this out. This used to be just a cascade of wires and now it's less that. So our panel's done, the electric's done. All the switches, all the panels for everything are in. Um, I guess except for maybe what was gonna be placed up there. 
even though it's ready for it. Uh, so I do need to talk to the contractor about that. Um, we're supposed to have two lights and a fan. So, um, yeah, I hope that's being put in. That'd be bad if not. There may be an uproar from the Wyatts. So, uh, yeah, some you know vent plates or whatever you want to call it there. A minor amount of tiling left. Uh, yeah, cabinets, countertops. I mean, really, it's not too far away for internal, uh, like the internal side. The biggest thing is we still need the septic and the water. So that's about, that's a couple days worth of work and uh, big equipment. And then uh, a lot of hopes and prayers that it all gets hooked up like we want it to be. So uh, we'll go over all the detail of that too later. But yeah, it's looking like a house, but we can't move in. So yeah, I am now gonna drive back an hour or so to get back to Blair and uh, Eva. So wish me luck. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show.